higher minus lower okay higher is t1 and lower one is t0 okay on the y axis and on the x axis we have t is equal to 0 minus l okay that means minus t1 minus t0 okay to l this is slow or we can call it as dt by dx or temperature gradient so from this is all basic information we can start with this example okay we are now going to find the contact resistance this one line between both of the material which uh, generally join both of them is having temperature t2 and t3 t2 t2 which is greater than t3 and t1 which is greater than t2 okay certain wise so let only assume conduction because uh, we are assuming the temperature flow between both of this lab having substance like called as any metals or any kind of substances so let t1 to t2 okay let the temperature flows from t1 to t2 with the heat energy as q when the heat energy enters into this material the coefficient which we call as thermal conductivity resistance which has ability to conduct heat within that substance so let's start from t1 to t2 higher minus lower okay that means q is equal to t1 minus t2 okay t1 minus t2 upon conductance resistance conductive resistance uh, which is further conductive re resistance which we call as r okay r1 let us suppose r1 why because we are taking it for slab number one okay therefore r1 since it is from metal material surface we can take as l1 this length upon k1 thermal conductivity of the first slab or whatever is that into a1 so this one is the thermal resistance so let r1 okay q is equal to t1 minus t2 upon r1 that means l1 by k1 a1 okay we have completed for first okay for first let us suppose at the interference okay this one this line is represented as the interference therefore we take heat energy or law of conduction Fourier law of conduction for at the interference applied it at the interference so T2 with the higher temperature and T3 is less as we already assumed that T2 is greater than T3 so we can subtract T2 T3 from T2 as you got up from first example these ones T1 and T2 so further we are taking it as since the heat is uniform throughout the slabs there is nothing change in it so T2 minus T3 T2 minus T3 upon 
resistance between both of them so r okay r c r r c r okay this one is called as heat energy at interference equation and our share will be q by okay so let us q is equal to t2 minus t3 upon r0 we need area so we take at rcr is equal to t2 minus t3 divided by q okay and q over a or such as whatever is that 